Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde and I am bringing to you guys a Fendi reveal slash why the item I purchased from Fendi doesn't work for me and I am going to be returning it so I just want to start off by saying that to everyone watching. Um, it does not work for me but it's a really hyped up popular item so I kind of wanted to explain why it doesn't work for me because that might be the case for some other people and I think, uh, you know, we watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I think I bought into the hype a little bit. So I just wanted to talk about it. So let's get right into the reveal and then I'll kind of explain why it didn't work for me. So first off is I bought it directly from Fendi. So it came in this yellow bag uh, with their little Fendi charm, which is the same F that's on the front of my Fendi Can I bag. So it did come in its own dust bag, as you guys can see right here. And let me show you, it came with uh, its little packet of stuff. So there's like, the how to return it and a return label, which was really great. So if you order directly from Fendi, returns are free if you say you need to return it within 14 days and then you get another 14 days to return it. And it's through uh, UPS, at least having it shipped out here to California was. So it is in this bag. It did not come with a box, uh, which actually, I don't think I've ever gotten a box from Fendi, but I don't normally order directly from Fendi. I order from like My Teresa or Farfetch or something like that. So to reveal, Oh, now I'm struggling to get out of the bag. It is the, and it has all these tags on it, the Fendi Defender cover. So this is the first one that came out. So I know they now make one with caramel piping, but this has the black piping. It is canvas. It does have some leather on it. So the Fendi FF is leather. So are the sides, to get it on and off, you do have buttons with the Fendi name. I don't know if it's gonna catch that, but a lot of different detailing. It's nothing on the back and the same on the um, same canvas all around, including on the bottom with no feet. Uh, there is in here, I have not taken it out because I'm not keeping it, there is the tag. So I got this, I had to be put on a waiting list and so it took me, I think I ordered it in like December and I didn't get it until March. So, which is fine, I knew it was back ordered, but I think during that time I kind of cooled off on it because I do have a Fendi peekaboo, uh, which let me get it and I'll show you guys. I got it from Rebag, um, which used to be Trendly, which actually is the place I bought my third ever Louis Vuitton from, um, which was a Neverfull GM, and I actually got it on Tradesy from Trendly. So this is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. It is in the lambskin leather with the gold hardware. And I love carrying this bag just as it is. Um, I just, I thought I'd want to have the option of the Defender cover, but it ends up it's not for me. So now I'm gonna go into kind of why I don't really think the Defender is something for me and it might not be something for you. So first off is I know we all think that like, oh, this is only 500, I wanna say it's $550, it's almost $600 with tax. You know, like it's only that amount. But I did buy my Peekaboo pre-loved and it is literally in brand new condition. I mean, I have used it. So if you see anywhere on it, that was for me and it cost me $1,200. So when you think that this is literally half of the cost of this, and I know that for $600, I could get some other pre-loved bags from different fashion houses, it doesn't seem actually like such a good deal. I think if you had paid for your mini peekaboo full price, I think you would think it was a better deal because they are really expensive, but I personally don't think that there's any reason to buy it new if you're okay with pre-loved. Of course, some people really like the experience in boutiques and I totally get that. And if that's you, like go for it. I just, my driving factor is to save money so that I can have more bags, which yeah, is you know not ideal for my one bedroom apartment. But I, you know, that's kind of how I roll. Everyone's got a different story. So that's number one. It's not really as cheap as you think it is when you start thinking about what $600 could do do a lot of different things. And so I was like, okay, that's number one. Number two, it, I know it's canvas, but it is pretty flimsy canvas, like more flimsy than a Louis Vuitton canvas. And so for some reason to me, for costing $600, it feels cheap, which is not something I'd ever associate with Fendi. The lambskin on my mini peekaboo is so luxurious. It's not even funny. It's actually amazing. And I love it. Three is that I realized like I am not the biggest fan of the Zuga print, especially in the more traditional sense of Zuga print. So let me show you what I do like for Zuga print. So this, if you watched my last video, is my Fendi Can I, which I got for a fabulous deal. 
and it has velvet zuka print. See how dark and how evident the FF is and just how like luxurious it looks. Also, it is velvet, so there's that factor to it. But when I look at this and then I see this, this just looks so muted compared to the really dark black on the brown and I just don't really like the colors and the look of this Zuka, which I think is more of the traditional Zuka as much as the velvet Zuka, which I could just literally pet for days. Also, see my dog is back there. She just turned 11 two days ago and she is napping and she's very annoyed that I am waking up her napping. She has like 10 beds and her favorite place to sleep is behind the couch. So that's just how she is. So that is another reason why this bag is not for me. And lastly, I think when you put it on the Fendi Peekaboo, it gives it a really weird shape and I don't actually like it. It makes it look really big and bulky because I've heard, and obviously I didn't end up using this, I just tried it on my bag, that when you're putting the metal piece through this part and you actually are turning it to like make it tighter, it'll end up scratching the metal piece or it doesn't work as well. So people just kind of put their bag in to the Fendi Defender and you'll, you'll see it's pretty wide, much more so I think than this bag. And I actually like this little like, uh, I guess you could call it a divot right there that the bag naturally has when it was made. And so you don't see that. And so it takes away to me a lot of the parts of the bag I like. So it just makes the bag too square and too big looking. So I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. It's just not really for me. I'm glad I gave it a try. I think maybe if it was in a more luxurious material, like if they ever made it in the velvet, not that I need an entire velvet cover, but the Fendi Defender cover, but I would consider it. I also think maybe I've seen um, some of their new designs. They're not really for me, but maybe if they made like an all leather where you could almost like change the color of your bag, I might be interested in it. But again, I don't know if I would because I really don't like the shape this adds to the Fendi Peekaboo. I think it makes it look really big and bulky and the bag is like really small. So that is my why I'm not keeping this Fendi Defender cover. If you guys are interested in the cover, I know last time I checked, they had both this black and the caramel uh, for the medium and the mini on the Fendi website. It was great to order it straight from them. They've been really great. I would definitely order straight from Fendi again. It's just this piece is just not for me. So if you guys like these type of videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave them for me in the comments